Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Marvin One Martian here. Uh, today we're going to be installing LEDs on the NB2 Miata. Uh, it's been a while since I had this car on the channel, but uh, some things have changed. I'm not sure if you guys can look at the little turbo here. Uh, but today we're going to be installing LEDs and an LED flasher so you don't get hyper flash. So uh, let's do it. All right, first we're going to start with these turn signals. I kind of already got them started here, but what you're going to do is you're going to press on this little square here. You're going to press down and you're going to pull it. I already did that because I only have one hand to work with. So, so it's easy for me. You're going to twist it out. And here's the bulb. And then you're going to twist it off. No more halogen bulb. Um, removing the halogen bulb, you're not going to get that little um, orange glow <coughs> you get when you have the bulb in there. Uh, you can kind of see the a little glow but we're gonna swap them out with LEDs now I'll have these linked below but what we're gonna do is there's only one way of putting this on there and there's like a little spring so you're gonna spring it down and you're gonna twist it let me see if I can do this with one hand nope let me see let me set you guys down oh. you know grab it Oh, I guess I did do it. So that's one. <clears throat> and we're going to put it on the headlight. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is just twist it back. Make sure it goes in straight. Just keep turning it until it goes in and then twist it back. That's one of them. We're going to put this back in. This is the other. So again, just press that little square button. Pull it out and twist it. Let's see, these just little flaps here, so you can twist it. Ugh. That one's hard. And again, you're gonna twist it out, remove it, and then I'm gonna set you guys down again and put this one on. There's a little LED bulb. I would assume they're gonna be pretty bright, but we're gonna put them inside. You see, like I'm putting it inside this way, and it's not going in, so I'm gonna do it this way. And then turn it and it's on there you can kind of see let's put it back on and then what's gonna happen is if you don't buy these um, by this relay they're gonna start ha hyper flashing so now they're on so now you don't get that little little glow that the orange amber light gives you so let's turn on the hazards and you'll see that's gonna start hyper flashing Oops, let me turn on the car. Oh. And then put an accessory mode. Let's see. All right, I'm back here. I had some technical difficulties, but I fixed it. Um, so if you press the turn signal stock, uh, you can kind of see it's hyper flashing. And going out to the car, see not that that satisfying so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this guy and this guy is gonna be your relay so it doesn't hyper flash anymore honestly probably I'd recommend disconnecting the battery um, before you start doing this but this is an LED flasher that replaces the OEM flasher that you're gonna switch out so the OEM flasher is gonna be here Sorry if the angle is going to be a little weird. Let me turn on my light. So, the OEM flasher. Now, so if some cables look different, it's because my car is modified. So, ignore that. But this one here is going to be a flasher. So, the way you get this out is you're going to wiggle it out. I did this already. And the reason why my lights didn't want to turn on is because I had this disconnected. Let me get out of here real quick. And as far as I know, this replaces um, this exact same replacement. You're just going to swap it out. Um, and it only works on the NB, NB1 and NB2. So let me see. I'm going to put you guys down here. So you're going to press this little button and then pull it out. And then you're going to replace it with this one. You're going to pop it back in. Now this one, this one's a little more tight 
the tight fit. So make sure it's all the way in, make sure it clicks. And that's that. And now what you're gonna do is since it's a pretty much an exact same replacement um, where you slid out the old one, you're gonna slide this one back in. So we're gonna go back in here. And once you start doing this, you'll know. But here, you get a better angle for you guys. Or for you people. Um, that's where it's at, that little metal tab. So we're gonna get the aftermarket flasher. And we're gonna slide it back in there so it's not dangling. And then you're gonna hit it, hit, hear it click. And once it clicks, it's back in its original spawn. It's not gonna fall off. Just make sure it clicks, because if it doesn't click, then it's gonna be dangling here in your pedals. So let me get out of here real quick. Now, when you turn on your car, or your NB, and you do a turn signal, it's a perfect, perfect signal there. So now we're gonna go back. Let's actually do the hazard. I think that's gonna be a little bit better. Hazard there. Walk out to the car. You can kind of tell it's definitely brighter than before. Even though I didn't show you guys before and after, but you guys know what I mean when you guys do it. And then there's a little flying Miata intercooler. Now we're gonna do the backs. All right, a few things that we're gonna need is a ratchet with the 10 millimeter socket, a uh, Phillips screwdriver, and we're gonna have to remove these um, clips here. So there should be one here and one over here. I don't have this one. Uh, most likely you will, most likely you're not. But if you do, remove them. You can remove them with the butter knife or with your fingernails if you have some. Um, I use my fingernails, so we're gonna, I already got this one started gonna remove that one this one I only have one as well remove that the 10 millimeter socket we have or well, you can use pretty much anything to remove those those uh, nuts but it has to be a 10 millimeter so I'm gonna remove these nuts which I already broke free and be very careful when you remove these nuts because um, they're, they're pretty small and um, I do there is going to be one here, and there's going to be one over there. Um, and like I said, be very careful because uh, you can drop these and uh, you're going to have to find them down there, which could be a bad time. But moving on, get this one here started. And after you remove this, you should be able to pop it off. I'm sorry, I'm going slow. It's just filming with one hand and doing another, using the other for working is kind of hard okay got that off put toss it over there it should just pop off you might have to wiggle at it depends if you've done this before or not but sometimes it could be stuck in there okay so this is the back of the tail light um, my cable wiring is kind of messed up because I tapped it to these flying me out of side uh, markers but um, don't worry about it um, all you have to worry about is removing this bulb here, which should be this. So again, he's going to twist this off and then it's going to break free and I'm going to go get the bulbs. All right, I got my bulbs and um, before I uh, started anything, I did check if they have polarity and it doesn't seem like they do, if I'm saying that right. Um, but let me start the, for you guys here. So, um, you're going to remove your halogen bulb, which I already did. So you're going to remove that, take it out, and then you're going to replace it with this LED light bulb. I'm going to put it in there, and then I'm going to show you. I would say before you start putting everything back, make sure it works. You get that in there. I'll be right back. I'm going to flash it. So there's the flash there and there's no hyper flashing so you can kind of see it turns off and turns on. So we'll put it back and then we'll do the other tail light. Alright, let's put this back here. And um, all we're going to do is just once you have that in, 
You're gonna stick it back in the hole. That's what she said. And then you're gonna twist it back. And to check them out, just make sure you just prop it up. Make sure it doesn't fall. And then uh, let's test out these lights. So this is a before and after. So that's an LED right there. And then that's an halogen. So you can kind of see this is definitely brighter. And you can kind of see that it turns off and turns on. So it gets the attention of people more. Opposed to this one is just dimming down and dimming up. Um, so that's the difference there. So I'm going to do that one and then uh, we should be all done. And now that I'm doing the right side, um, just thought I wanted to show you again. So one bulb, uh, one bulb, one nut, and then the other nut's gonna be over here. So we're gonna break those free. We're gonna get our ratchet with our 10 millimeter socket. Make sure it's under the loose. And then I broke free. I'm gonna get this one over here. This one might be a little bit harder because there's a wire there. Uh, broke that free. And again, be very careful that when you loosen these nuts, they don't fall. So make sure your whole three fingers are holding there, are holding the nut. And then let's do this one over here. So listen, I would be very careful here because there's a, a wire that's running up. I'm assuming, I don't know where that's going to, but this one most likely could fall out of your fingertips so once you get that out we're gonna start or oh, I guess I already did that <clears throat> oh you see you gotta be very careful it fell on me so let's remove this tail light it's just popping it off see this one's a little harder so it's gonna be easier with two hands but uh, just wiggle and make sure you don't crack anything you don't have to like force it out don't tilt it just pull it out this way so get one hand here the other hand here and then pull it out so we're gonna get our other LED we'll have this resting on my knee here turn it remove the old amber halogen bulb it's gonna be trash and then we're gonna replace it with this LED bulb See if I can do this here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try for the fun of it. Nope, it's getting away from me. Let me see, I'm gonna set you guys down at a weird angle. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, there. So we're gonna get it here, put it in. There you go. Make sure it's all the way in. Once it's in, we're going to put it back in the hole. Turn it back. Make sure it clicks. Set your tail light back. And then let's see how they look. So these are the fronts. Let me show you guys. So that's the front. I think it gives it a more modern look, but I don't know what you guys think. And then let's just... Let me turn on my car because I don't want this battery to die. I'm running on E85 and it's been really cold here in San Diego. Cold meaning like mid 30s and high 30s. So the car sometimes doesn't want to turn on. So let's see if it turns on right now because I think my, my battery is really messed up now from not wanting to turn on in the morning. So let's see. Cool thing. I don't have to press on the the clutch to turn it on so just crank it oh she struggled a little bit but let's see here there's a little nice mod there's another little nice mod there but if you guys want I can set up a um, I can do another video of the car like a, a walk around if you guys are interested I'm not sure how many people are going to be seeing this video but if you guys are interested let me know comment below and toodles.